as David mentioned, uh, what we're going to do today will be a, a slight uh, shift away from you know, the traditional presentation that we've been doing. Uh, what we're going to talk about is a bit of business continuity and disaster recovery. The most important part uh, in most uh, disasters is this. It's, it's not meant to be a disaster actually, but because of the poor management of the incident itself or the, the way we escalated, has caused us a lot of things to become a, a non-event or non-incident to become a disaster. In all these natural disasters, has nothing to do with us again. But the most important thing I want to emphasize, you, when you get hit by a disaster, it need not be a direct hit. And my biggest joke is always F1. Whenever anyone has F1, when you have offices in town, you guess what you'll do? You, technically, you have a disaster by my definition. Am I right? What's my definition of disaster? You are now denied access to your people, process, and infrastructure. Correct? But the most important thing I want to emphasize is whenever we are aware of some disturbances, some incidents, some threats, be prepared. But the most important thing I just want to highlight to you is this. Most of you have heard of BCM. It's not a change in concept. The, the, whole, the last three to four years, the global community is trying to group all these concepts into one concept called BCM. Now, if you work for a multinational uh, or book for organization, we are all designed not to work with each other. Are you aware? We are designed not to work with each other. Why? Because everybody draws the line clearly, and whenever we are the gray area, nobody cares. So this is the reason why in, when we do BCM, one of the common problems we have is when there's a disaster, we find the next scapegoat. Okay, next guys who, who, who appears to be part, sh who should, be, should not be responsible, find, find that person. So what BCM does is, if it's IT disaster recovery, which most of you are doing, it's a denied access to people, IT infrastructure, people, and telecommunication is your job. Business continuity is the hardest thing in town now. In Singapore, reason is because of funding. And uh, just for info, all essential services will have BCM uh, within the next 18 months. And doing a BCM is not, cannot be done in three months. That's, that's something I want to share with you. Now, other things will be for a security issue crisis. The most important, most of you must take back is this. A disaster, it tends to focus on deny access to your people, process, and infrastructure. A crisis, on their hands, is something that doesn't deny you access to your people, process. The other thing to take note is incident emergency. Incident is something the ordinary. Now, any incident, if not managed properly, will become a disaster. Really. But most importantly is watch for time. When is the allowable downtime? Because if your business needs to be up within two hours, you've got to be up within two hours and the escalation must take place immediately. Most importantly is how do you escalate? So the, from rate, when you get hit by a bomb, example, straight away escalate. You go straight into the, uh, the rate mode, CEOs get involved, the bot gets involved. So all this escalation has to tailor with people, management, expectation and many other things. And it's not about the theory of escalation, it's about the people aspect of it. And you have no time to wait because you have to move, the, move all the business as we go along. So this is just a simple example of how we escalate from a disaster. I'm running out of time, I know. Uh, next, we will we'll talk about how do you de quickly declare a disaster and from the disaster, you, move, you start to move your team. All right, so this is just, in a nutshell, this, this diagram is beautiful. Theoretically, it's nice, but the, the decision-making process is always, you must remember, when you get hit by disaster, ask yourself this question. I always use this. What time is it? What day is it? And uh, what are the things I must do by 5 o'clock today? Very simple exercise. Just remember that. Incident escalation, as what I mentioned, the challenge we find, every disaster I find, is that people do not make the decision. Reason is because if I make a decision after the event, I get fired. And that is the challenge we are facing. The other thing is 90% of our incidents are not disaster. Whether you're in whatever profession, before you start a project, train your people first. And one of the things that we never train are our bosses. We have failed miserably because we fail to educate upwards. Uh, because we are worried that we look back in front of big bosses. And to tell the truth, if you want to be successful in any project, whether BCP, DR or any other project, hit the bosses first. And that's my parting shot to you. All right, with that note, I thank you. This video is brought to you by the Business Continuity Management Institute. Check out our website at www.bcminstitute.org for more videos.